Well, supply and labor shortages along with inflation are causing problems for many businesses, including agriculture, farmers, state and local leaders gather to talk about the issues the industry faces. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller has more. Farmers always have to deal with issues like the weather. But according to farmer Nat Bodiford, he's seeing more problems than ever before. Labor's also been a big increasing challenge. And also certainly this current market year, you know, inputs are almost doubled. Everything is out of the roof. And it's kind of been a very trying year trying to make the numbers work to be able to have a successful year this year. Bodiford was one of many in attendance at the Joint Agriculture Committee Chairman Ag Issue Summit Tuesday. District 20 State Senator Larry Walker echoes Bodiford on issues farmers face. Input costs for farmers, uh, the high price of diesel fuel, fertilizer, seed, labor, uh, land, equipment, uh, that's a real challenge for the financial viability of our farmers. According to Senator Walker, agribusiness and agriculture is a huge industry in Georgia. He says there are many opportunities for people to get involved in the industry and plenty of ways to get financial help. Getting into the farming business per se uh, is difficult because of the ca it's so capital intensive, uh, but we've, ha we've got some loan programs that can help uh, young farmers uh, get a foothold and get started. Bodiford says he always advocates for agriculture and encourages people to reach out to their local farmers to learn more about the industry. There's a lot of folks that have misconceptions they don't know just because they were not grown up around it, they don't know. Please contact your local farmer and go show up to his farm, ask questions, you know, be informed. In Perry, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. And according to Senator Walker, there are several ballot initi initiatives for forestry and agriculture this November. One exempts forestry equipment from ad valorem tax. The other exempts family farm enterprises from ad valorem tax.